Hey there, water signs. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this uh, oracle reading in terms of what spirit needs you to know right now. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this video, this reading, this message finds you well. Just before we begin, I want to put a little disclaimer out there. I do have my windows open today because um, it's a bit hot, <laughs> but because of that, you are going to hear, or at least you're going to be able to hear the local roosters. Hopefully that's not too uh, distracting. If it does become too distracting, then I will pause for a moment and close my windows. But for now, we're going to leave it open and let some of the fresh air and sunshine come into the space. Yes. Okay. So we're going to get into this uh, general reading. Please keep in mind water signs that this is a general reading for all water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, however that resonates for you. So please keep that in mind. Um, this is also a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that time. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Yeah. So we're going to be using two Oracle decks. They are sister decks. They are the newest uh, decks that have been uh, donated to the channel by the one and only Stella. If you know, then you know. Um, so the decks that we're going to be using today, they are part of the Soul Trees uh, series, I guess we can say. The first deck is the Soul Trees Soul Seeds Oracle. This is a really beautiful deck. It's this one here on the far right. It's one of my favorites because it's got this silver gilding, you guys. I love a gilded deck. So, okay, we're going to be starting with that. And then we're going to be moving forward with the Soul Trees Ascension deck, which is the, this is the box for that one. Both of these decks are um, made by Allison Williams Yee. If you can, can you see? Yeah, there she is. There's, there she goes. There's her name, Allison Williams Yee. Beautiful decks here. Um, so we're starting with the Soul Trees, Soul Seeds, which is this deck here. And then the deck in the center is the Soul Trees Ascension deck. And then we're going to get some further clarification and messages from the Tarot deck, from a Tarot deck. And the deck that I chose uh, for this series is the Crystal Visions deck. Yeah. All right, Water Signs, let's dive into this here and see what messages Spirit has for you. What does Spirit need you to know at this time, God source creator, thank you so much for bringing us together. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be a channel for your messages, for your water signs. At this time, we ask that you please enter into this space and provide us with the best messages that you have for your water signs, God source creator, those being Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What messages do you have for your water signs at this time? What do you need your water signs to know at this moment? God source creator, thank you so much for your guidance, your care, and your unconditional love. Yeah, here we go. What messages do you have for your water signs? Okay, that's enough. All right. Uh, three cards here. You have support in reverse, you have crown in reverse, and then you have heart in reverse. Okay, here's the thing, you guys. I don't normally allow, like to have my decks live in reverse, um, but... Wait, is everything reversed? Wait a second. No, everything isn't reversed. Okay, it's just a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of them are. Okay, I'm just going to leave it this way. Um, I am allowing this deck to be in reverse. It seems to be appropriate for this moment. So overall energy for you, you do have whimsy in reverse. So uh, first thing that I'm picking up on here with whimsy in reverse is there is a lack of faith right now. There is a big lack of faith for many of us in the collective right now, whether you find yourself to be a water sign or not. Um, also, one thing I should say is this we could be talking to a cross watcher here. However, that is not quite the intention of this reading. The intention is to speak directly to the water signs. However, you may be watching this for a water sign in your life. And this so you could understand it in this way. OK. Um, but also, if you are a cross watcher watching for a water sign and this ultimately ends up um, resonating for you, then take it as it resonates. Uh oh, you have two cards. No, I thought you had two cards here, but you don't. Okay. So, moving forward with the message Whimsy is in reverse. There is a, a that that's giving me feelings of lack of faith. 
support is reversed, crown in reverse, and heart is reversed. So um, what I will say here is it does feel like, or it may seem, I will say, it may seem like your crown chakra is out of whack or your head is out of whack. Some of you are actually, what, what this actually is talking about here is there is a um, change in alignment, I wanna say. Uh, you may be experiencing an upgrade right now in terms of your crown chakra. Some of you have, um, Claire cognizant abilities that are developing for you uh, are showing themselves or showing up for you. If you're unfamiliar with Claire cognizance, I would recommend that you do a quick Google search to get some real detailed information to do some research on that for yourself so that you, uh, you can understand what this means. But uh, t in, in essence, the uh, claircognizance is the ability to just know, okay? So there's clairsentience, which is the, the ability to feel, clairaudience, which is the ability to hear, um, and this is from an extra sensory point of view, so like outside of the typical five senses. Uh, clairvoyance, which is the ability to see, okay, to have visions or whatnot. Um, let's see, clairsentience, clairaudience, clairvoyance, and then there's claircognizance, which is the ability to just know. So there could be things that are just all of a sudden downloads or messages or information or just general understandings that seem to come out of nowhere. That is the ability, that is, that is claircognizance, okay? The ability to just know something without having any sort of previous experience with it, without doing some any sort of research on it, without having any real understanding of it outside of the, the the download that you receive in any given moment that is coming online for some of you that is developing at this time but really uh, for the most part this feels like your head is just out of whack okay and you're lacking in support or you're feeling like you're lacking in support and thus your heart space is clouded um, what I want to say with heart in reverse is that you, your heart's not in it any longer. You've lost passion. You've lost desire. You've lost that feeling of connection. Some of you are dealing with feelings of not really f even feeling connected to life or wanting to really be engaged with life at this time. Um, and that, that does make a lot of sense in terms of what's going on for the collective as a whole, just outside of the water sign collective. Um, uh, what I am hearing though, it's a phase. This is a passing moment. This, it's not going to be like this forever. I'm also kind of getting some energies, water signs of you guys trying to find a way to rekindle or regenerate these feelings of passion or this feeling of connectedness or this feeling of love. For some of you, this could be, um, translating into a love reading or this could resonate for you in the realm of love and in relationships um some of you are trying to find that regenerate that connection but it doesn't seem to be working right now or i guess maybe the feeling surrounding that is you're trying to cultivate or generate these feelings but there's lacking in auth like it doesn't feel authentic it doesn't feel real it feels manufactured it feels artificial and in response to that, I want to say that that itself also is, that too is a passing, a fleeting thing. It's not going to be like that forever. I just, I get this feeling, water signs, that even though, you know, you're lacking in this whimsy, this faith, this excitement, this fun energy, you're feeling like you're lacking of, in support, you're feeling like your head is out of whack, you're feeling like your heart is not in it, that is temporary. But also, I feel like you're trying. I still I still feel like you're trying regardless as to however however things look in your life right now. I just feel like you're still just trying to stay solid or stay grounded or mm, I want to say make yourself believe that everything is okay. In honesty, in all honesty, water signs, everything is okay and everything is going to be okay. Again, this is just a phase. This is just a moment. Okay. Let's go deeper though. Okay, so what messages do you have for your water signs, please, God, Source, Creator? How can we help the water signs at this time? 
that are going through this moment, that are going through these feelings. One last shuffle. How can we help the water signs at this time, please, Spirit? Okay. Breakthrough is at the bottom of the deck so far. Um, I am hearing, I want to... Okay, one more shuffle. We're going to give this one more shuffle, but breakthrough is here. Um, I feel like you're going to be reaching a breakthrough soon. Interestingly enough, I feel like some of you are, have actually started to experience or started to feel some sort of breakthrough. Maybe it's just from what you're hearing in this reading right now is helping you reach a breakthrough um, because you're, it's, it's confirming things for you. Um, it's putting things into perspective for you. A third party outside view of the situation does, for some of you, feel like it's generating some sort of breakthrough right now. Okay, um, I feel like there's a, there's a there's a crack starting to show, in and, and in that crack that seems to be showing, there's some sort of light that's coming through from that. There is a breakthrough happening. There's a breakthrough coming. Coming. Okay, I want to give this one last shuffle for you. And then we're going to see what this is. All right. So what messages, what further guidance do we have? All right. Grounded as at the bottom of the deck at this moment. Make sure to stay grounded as much as you possibly can during this time. I do feel like many of you are really... I, I want to say, Water Signs, that what, what I'm feeling for you right now is a great deal of emotional maturity. Um, I do feel like, yes, you're in this down state. You're not feeling so pleasant you're not feeling so uplifted right now but even through all of that you are really working on staying grounded or at least trying to find a sense of remaining grounded because there is a a stark awareness or a stark understanding within you that allowing your emotions to just run amok and overtake you is not a good thing then you you would be absolutely correct not to say that you shouldn't feel what you're what it is that you're feeling or that you should push away your emotions or whatnot but but allowing them to overtake you is generally not such a good thing and i agree with that yeah okay and then underneath grounded is breakthrough again all right so there we go okay so how can we help the water signs what else do you want to say shadow delight and oof love you love you did turn in reverse as i was picking it up um Okay, you have shadow, you have delight, which is interesting, and then you have love you, but love you is in reverse. I really do feel like you are having trouble loving you right now, having trouble at least maybe even finding ascension, <laughs> uh, finding a sense of being able to love yourself, love your life, love just love right now. You're having trouble learning you, loving you. Ooh, you're having trouble learning you. Okay. Um, this is a moment of you trying to learn yourself better. Um, so what this is saying here is it does feel like you're going through, or it seems like you're going through some sort of shadow period in which you are being provided with the opportunity to explore more of your shadow and work on cultivating a level of delight in your life despite whatever it is that is hidden within your shadow. Love you is in reverse, but it's not a bad thing. It did come out upright initially, but as I was trying to turn it over to see what the card was, it did flip in reverse. With that, yes, I'm getting an energy of you're having difficulty loving you, but really it feels like you're having difficulty loving your life. But then also with love you in reverse, this does to me represent a moment where you are work of eight, working on cultivating that level of delight through a level of shadow work that you're experiencing right now or difficulties or challenges that are being brought up through your shadow or from your shadow at this time, working on developing a level of delight while you work through that shadow moment of that moment of shadow work in order to love yourself better. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is natural rhythm. There is a there is a natural rhythm to things. Your advice at this moment, or at least what I can glean of, as a, of a bit of advice at the moment, is for you to continue working on grounding yourself. And in terms of grounding yourself, what could help you do that is to focus on the natural rhythm of things. I understand that there is an undertone right now of sorrow, of your heart not being in it, of not feeling supported, of your head being 
all kinds of screwed up right now. But if you really work on flowing with or getting in alignment with the natural rhythm of things, I do feel like you will able to begin to find a level of support for yourself. Um, with support in reverse, some of what you could be dealing with right now is the typical methods or modes of support that you would cultivate for yourself or maybe that you have had for yourself doesn't do it anymore it doesn't cut it anymore that's it the, that's the same level of support does not provide you with or that same um type of support or whatever does not provide you with the same level of support any longer. So you're needing to learn how to support yourself differently. And because of that, it does feel like your heart is, is out of whack, but mainly your head crown here, your head is out of whack. But this is a moment where I do feel like water signs, you're going through a moment of really facing some deep levels of shadow reality here. For some of you, this is one of your first trysts consciously with shadow work. For others of you, this is just a new level of shadow work that you are diving into that is ultimately requiring or ultimately helping you to develop a greater level of support in terms of what you require in your life at this time. All right. Okay. Let's get into some tarot here for you. Here we go. Let's get into this, to, to this tarot. Yeah. All right. For your water signs, God source creator, cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. A little more definition, some more advice that you have, some more clarity that you have for your water signs at this time, please, God source creator. Last shuffle. Or, no, let's give this two more for you. For your water signs, God's first creator, what messages do you have for your water signs at this time? All right, here we go. Messages for your water signs. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck so far, you do have the Page of Swords, and I will say that this is definitely a strong moment of learning, doing research, um, whether that's research, you know, in your life in terms of healing modalities, um, uh, spiritual practices, uh, meditation um, practices, um, but really also learning of yourself. I will say, and maybe we'll see, maybe the Four of Swords will come out for you here, but also now that I'm calling it out, it may not need to. But I will say that it does feel, I feel very strongly that meditation practices could really be beneficial for you right now. There is an energy of needing to stay grounded, which you're very, very aware of. You, so you may already be doing this. I also want to say, though, that um, please do not hold yourself to any sort of practices or techniques that don't resonate with you. I mean, I, I would say definitely be open to trying new things, but and definitely keep a level of commitment to it, you know, but also don't do anything that you doesn't feel natural to you or feel so wildly out of place that it's actually doing more damage because that that could be it you know if you're being too dogmatic or if you're especially for a water sign although water signs can take water will take the shape of any container you put it in um but I want to say continue to allow yourself to flow as much as you can. Continue to keep with that natural rhythm as much as you can. Okay, just a little bit of advice there. Um, but learning, it seems to be that learning is a really important part of your process right now. And meditation can actually, well, meditation practices can help you can aid you with that learning of the self because when you're meditating you're you're basically you're keeping yourself in a moment of observation okay and if you know if in your meditation at any given moment you need to just sit there and uh, i know like meditation is the practice or the art of clearing the mind but 
Don't force your mind to be clear if it's not, okay? You're not really gonna get anywhere by forcing your mind to stay silent. What's better is to sit in a space or be in a space, a conscious space of awareness, of just allowing your thoughts and your feelings, whatever comes up, allowing them to come up. The, 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 the trick there is to allow it to come up and allow yourself to observe your thoughts and feel your feelings and emotions. But the real trick is to not allow yourself to remain attached to them, okay? Because the real, the, the truth of the matter is that you are not your thoughts and you are not your feelings and emotions. They are a part of you. Yes, they are a part of your existence, but they are not you. And you know that because, or you can become aware of that, or you can start to understand that through the understanding that you are able to observe them. You are able to pull yourself away and almost become a third party to your own life and be able to observe your thoughts and your feelings, which in essence means that you are not them. They are just flowing through you, okay? So that feels actually really important. Maybe start, if you haven't done this already, maybe start meditating. But I'll say just, just meditate in terms of find a quiet, place to sit in peace by yourself with yourself to allow your thoughts and your feelings to come up so that you can become aware of them and then allow them to move through you so that you can then move forward okay excellent what other messages do you have for your water signs at this time please spirit first card here is the knight of wands okay that's interesting um, what I get with the Knight of Wands, though, the message for you is being able to cultivate, cultivate a sense of passion, a sense of drive, and a sense of direction. But don't get caught up on the sense of direction aspect. That, tr that true sense of direction comes from you being able to cultivate a sense of passion a sense of willingness to move forward. As long as you can cultivate feelings of connectedness, feelings of passion, feelings of the desire to drive forward, then that actual direction in which to move forward with will present itself to you, okay? So really focus on cultivating that sense of passion again. And don't force yourself to have it happen in any given moment or in any specific timing. Allow it to happen naturally. Allow it to, be to develop naturally, okay? The next card you have here is the Hermit. Okay, there is that energy of self-reflection, of going within. I just heard of internalizing your thoughts, feelings, your thoughts and feelings. Um, I'm not exactly sure what spirit means by that because ultimately or or on the surface internalizing something doesn't isn't necessarily a good thing at least I think Okay spirit just said allowing your internal reality to rise to your awareness Mhm mm okay so that so okay so I guess what spirit is saying is allowing yourself to go within to experience or perceive of your internal reality. Okay. What else do you have? Spirit, God's first creator. Next you have the 4 of cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? Let's finish this out before I go any further. Page of cups, beautiful. Okay. The 4 of wands, excellent. One last card, please. There we go. The tower. All right. All right. Overall energy is the ace of cups. Okay. Um, overall energy is the ace of cups. But then also the deck did split in two places. One place is, well, the one place was the four of wands, I thought. No, you have the four of wands here. Okay. So the other place that it split is the queen of swords. All right. So, um, no, the four of wands is here. Okay. Uh, Spirit, God Source Creator wants you to feel alive again, wants you to wants you to provide yourself with an opportunity to cultivate this sense of passion and drive and moving movement forward one last time. Why did I hear one last time? I guess it's the energy of just try one more time. Just just give it one more go. But then also 
behind that one more go feels like or giving it that one last shot towards cultivating a sense of drive and passion could very well be that next that last shot that helps to put you in a much better place. So spirit is referring to it as one last shot because it could very well be that when you do that, you'll find yourself in a much better place than you were before. Okay, so give yourself this one last chance to come up out of the darkness or come up out of the muck. You do have the four of cups in reverse. Um, that to me is speaking to an over accentuation or overly apathetic. This is where you feel like you're stuck. But cultivating this sense of awareness of your inner reality will help you to come out of that, okay? Will help to make this Four of Cups reversed, go from meaning feeling like you're stuck here to being out of this energy, okay? For moving forward, you have the Page of Cups to the Four of Wands. So in going in within, in, in with internalizing your sense of awareness at this time and by that spirit means taking your awareness out out of being so focused in the external and instead focusing more internally so internalizing okay internalizing your sense of focus which is much better for you because ultimately everything has uh, um, its roots internally okay all answers can be found within you not external to you so by internalizing this sense of focus it can help you rise up out of this apathy and start to regain a, a, a sense of a new sense of emotional reality with the page of cups here but specifically what i'm feeling for you water signs is that when you are final when you are able to do this or once you do this you will begin to recognize your state of solidity, four of wands, your, your passion in purpose or your purpose in general, or just a state of an awareness of everything being okay, you being solid, stable, and grounded, regardless as to whatever it is you see or experience external to you, that is not a true reflection of your sense of stability and being protected and loved and cared for. Your internal creative ability okay the four of wands here now once that comes online once you're able to cultivate this and cultivate this energy of page of cups wanting to come back out of this sense of hermit mode or once you're ready to come out of this hermit mode with a new found sense or a refreshed uh, emotional reality that's when the tower will strike but the tower is not a bad thing for you. The tower is the destruction of that external reality that you are struggling with right now. Okay. And all of this hinges on cultivating a sense of self-love within yourself. So really, it's time for you to go within to cultivate an energy of uh, filling your cup emotionally. That is the... The... The main thing for you right now, water signs, is to go within and really work on filling your heart again. Your heart, heart is in reverse, and then you have this Ace of Cups here. It's really about allowing yourself the time to develop a sense of awareness that allows your cup of emotional value and emotional fulfillment to be full again but that cannot happen externally that has to come from within okay so really the best thing for you to do right now water signs is to for some of you stop focusing so intently on your external reality and what you see external to you and instead go within to find places where you are feeling empty unfulfilled unloved and to work on filling that space with the love and the support that is eternally constantly being poured down upon us from the universe from god source creator okay all right Closing messages for you. Closing messages for your water signs, please, God Source Creator. You have the Five of Swords, the Moon. Closing sign. Closing messages for the water signs, please. And the Hanged Man. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? Yes, the Ace of Wands. Okay. Wow. Okay, the Ace of Wands and then to the Ace of Swords. 
ultimately the truth is available to you water signs but what you really need you definitely need to go within you need to internalize this sense of focus for you water signs because the experiences or the the trouble the drama the destruction the fighting the competition the lose-lose situations that you're experiencing external to you are in fact an illusion the five of swords to the moon and you're being held here for a specific reason but that specific reason ultimately boils down to generally speaking boils down to you reaching a different point of view and once you are able to reach that point of view then you'll have the truth ace of swords which will ultimately allow you to pick up this ace of wands of passion desire and drive which is also reflected here in the knight of wands okay so it's really about it really the, the 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 grand message for you water signs is to really stop focusing externally and start focusing more internally to understand what all of this means for you at this time so that you can gain a sense of the truth, Ace of Swords, so that you can then ultimately gain a sense of passion and drive again. I'm feeling guided. I wanna pull one more time for you. Anything else that you wanna to say to your water signs at this time, God Source Creator? Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands. At first, what I wanted to say, um, water signs, ooh, okay. At first, what I wanted to say, water signs, was that you do have a loving community around you, and that still may very well be the case. However, with this Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, I feel like there are... There may be people around you that are helping to influence your state of awareness at this time. There are certain hive, hive mind mentalities or collective uh, 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 belief systems that are accepted by the collective, by the people around you, maybe your friends, or maybe your family, that is causing a great deal of confusion. Three of Cups to the Seven of Cups. And you're really, again, this is another message of really needing to go within because I feel like in terms, for some of you, in terms of ex in terms of how you've been externalizing your, your focus, your point of view, um, you are maybe comparing yourself. Maybe that's what this Five of Swords energy is. You're comparing yourself to others. You're comparing your life cycle to others. You're comparing other people's successes to your own maybe lack of success or something like that. It's causing a great deal of confusion for you. Seven of Cups. So this is another reason as to why you really need to start focusing more internally and putting up some greater boundaries here i'm definitely even though that it's not here i'm feeling a nine of pentacles energy for you ultimately ultimately in terms of needing to think for yourself at this point okay not that you you're you've never done that not that you maybe don't do that generally but at this moment or maybe just for specific individuals you have to work on cultivating a sense of being able to think for yourself because the advice or the external reality that you're perceiving of is causing confusion for you and overall energy now is judgment okay you've got to make your own judgment call here maybe you're looking for advice from others maybe you're watching too many readings i don't know but ultimately there is a, a new level of judgment. There is a new judgment call that is that you're being driven towards or pulled towards. And in order for you to understand that, you have to. In some cases, for some of you, I'm hearing you've got to cut off that external influence. Stop looking to the external to give you your answers and really start going within so that you can start to make a judgment call for yourself. Okay. A judgment call that is more in alignment with the truth of who you are, who it is you really are at this time, or who it is you are developing into at this time, okay? Because I do feel like for many of you, there is a new sense of self that is on the verge of coming through for you. So really, the big, big message for you throughout all of this, the big takeaway is it's really time to go within and start to internalize your sense of focus and start to gain more of your answers more of your guidance more of your support from within okay all right water signs 
there you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like that, smash that like button, um, subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And also do not hesitate or do not feel that you are unable to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, letting us know how this resonates for you. This is a safe space here and you are encouraged to share if you feel as though it would be helpful to you or if you just feel yourself being guided to share because ultimately you sharing whatever it is you feel is appropriate for you to share at this time could very well help someone else on their journey. Yes? Excellent. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.